Hello, Michael here with another Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how to slice up any geometry topographically um, using a simple Boolean method. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. So we'll just create a geometry node and dive in. And we're just going to start by creating a grid. Now we want a number of these grids in our Y direction. So I'm going to use a line tool and I'm just gonna look at that. And if we turn on points, we'll see that we've got two points. So we wanna resample that, which will give us as many points as we like. And so the objective is that we're going to uh, copy this plane to these points. So we'll just do a copy to points. And we'll put the grid in the left input and the line in the right input and then we get these grids so this is good because obviously we can increase the scale if we wish and then if you want to increase the density you can just resample it now we just need to create some geometry so anything will work um, if you are trying to do some sort of fake land mass you could just use another grid and use a mountain deformer and we'll look at that and we'll get that to look a little bit more mountainous and probably increase the resolution of our grid a little bit. Okay, so something that looks like that. And then we just need a Boolean. So we'll plug the mountain and the copy to points into there. We'll set the operation to seam and there you go. You get your little topographical map. If you subdivide that, it will be a bit smoother. And then also you can transform it. Which will allow you to move it up and down through your grid of planes there. So now that you've got that, you can use a poly wire to render, and it'll just be a matter of plugging it in there, and then setting your wire radius. If you want to smooth it, you can increase the divisions, etc. If you are using Redshift, you can actually just select it and set the uh, render, uh, render type as render object as strands, and then that way it will just render natively as strands and you can assign your shader to it as you normally would with either a diffuse shader or any, something more exciting. So here's the examples from the start of the video where you can see that I assigned it to a couple of different types of mesh with some different shading and some extra little um, bits as well. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.